Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. Hi, I got to go to the bins again. This time I went with my best friend and yeah, I found a lot of stuff again. <laughs> I have a few items that I'm keeping myself and a few items that I'm currently stain treating, but I will still show you. I don't remember how many pounds I got, but I do remember spending $101 and I did count everything. I did get hundred and something items so I spent about a dollar per item which is crazy so I'm just gonna jump right into it because it's gonna be a long one all right I found this adorable bag this is just Target Universal Thread but look how stinking cute this is I love the burlap type feeling to this or the burlap look to it and the stripes I like that there's an option to carry it like this or crossbody. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Interior looks good. It has the zip front. So yeah, I was really happy to find this. I don't find a lot of purses. I'm not a huge fan of selling purses because they don't sell that quick. This next item is an Obey sweater. Nothing too fancy. Um, this is a size medium. Everything should be listed by the time this video goes live. I'm really hoping that items will be all listed. If not, there might be a few here and there that I either ran into some issues or yeah, didn't get around to listing them yet. All right, I found some dance goes. These are a size 39. There is a little bit of wear but um, still good condition. I might just sell them for like 20 bucks just to get rid of them, but yeah, just a plain black pair. This next pair of shoes, my husband laughed, but I knew exactly what they were and I knew they would sell. Found some very high platform shoes. This is, Demonia, Demonia, Demon, Demon, Demona, 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 I don't know. Uh, so this is like a gothic brand. It has the heart shaped glasses print on the front with some like ruffly detail and studs. Mary Jane style. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what size these are. It just says click 021 fabric upper. Um, if I had to guess, maybe seven, but if there's like any imprint somewhere that I'm just not seeing, I don't know, but comps on these were, they were selling for like 40 bucks, so super excited about those. <laughs> my son, my younger son was trying those on. He thought he was so funny. This next pair, I've sold this brand before. This is LK Bennett. They sold a pair of shoes actually, and they sold, how much did they sell for? $65. I won't get a ton for these because there is just a little bit of wear on the suede and some stains. Um, I might clean them up. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. These are 38. This is real leather. Um, peep toe, nice little red pink color. All right, let's get into some clothing. First we have American Eagle, no, Urban Outfitters. This is a size medium, really pretty marigold yellow crop top, lace, lace up front here and the straps are adjustable, which is kind of cool, but we'll not get a ton for that. I'm hoping that will be a nice bundle piece. All right, this item, I'm actually going to try the bleach tie-dye. I <laughs> guess it's just Beavis and Button, which I, I used to watch when I was younger, which is weird. Um, it's very faded, so it's kind of hard to tell, but the size is a large. The reason I want to do 
the reverse tie-dye type thing on here is because there are some stains and I think tie-dyeing it will kind of hide those so yeah we'll see how well that goes all right this item I'm actually keeping for myself it's just it's Rachel Zoe but it's a nice tank top all right I found some Lululemon. I think this is the Power Y tank. I've sold it before. This is just white and it's a size 4, but there are a few little marks right up here. So I got to take this out and stay and treat it. I got these for my husband, but he didn't like them. So I'm going to sell them. These green cargo type shorts. There is no brand, but I did look it up and I already forgot what it was. These are a size 34. These are like thicker. So, and we found Cut Loose. It's extra large. This is like a wagon look brand. It's oversized with a hood and it has pockets. It's a nice blue and black color. Then I found this French Connections cardigan dress type thing. Has some fun buttons in the front. This is a size large, right? Yes. I do like selling this brand. Um, tends to uh, sell pretty quick for me. This is alpaca wool and acrylic blend. And nice little balloon like sleeve. All right found another like marigold mustard yellow type color it's just forever 21 but it is plus size it's pretty trendy and cute i thought and it's in really good condition i liked the boat neckline i just think this is gonna look really cute in the fall with some jeans so um uh, this is a 2x another sweater i can't wait for fall i love selling fall clothes this is brooks brothers extra fine merino wool size medium men's mock neck zip up sweater a nice blue gray color my best friend actually found a leather brooks brother jacket i was very jealous <laughs> uh torrid size two tie-dye t-shirt real queens fix each other's crowns size 2 which I think is a 2x I always get the their sizing mixed up with like Chico's Lane Brian do they do that weird vanity sizing too I don't know all right uh champion size large it's plain old graphic t-shirt you won't get a ton for it but another champion top this one's a sweater and it's women's size small yep nothing fancy some anthropology jeans oh i'm just realizing these are flawed like wow i wonder if i could fix that mm, no definitely not how did i miss all of this <laughs> wow okay I'm in my room because the boys are awake and um, when the AC turns on it's not as loud in here. I don't normally pick this brand up. I did it based on style. I liked the two-tone denim look. They are size 10 but I feel like they were a little smaller. I'm not sure how their sizing is at Rue 21, but I'm pretty sure it's like a junior brand. I can't say I've ever shopped there when I was a teenager. I don't remember. I, I shopped at Charlotte Russe. I do know that. <laughs> do remember that. Okay, our next item. Calvin Klein. It's really comfy pull-on sweater. Kalnick extra large and it has um some type of layer for something this i'm gonna send to thread up i do thread up partner kits and this is very lightweight and it's new with tags so yep 
There's Eileen Fisher, but unfortunately this is damaged. Has some like stains here in the front. I'm gonna try to dye this to try to save it. We'll see how that turns out. It's another project that will probably be set on the back burner for a long, long time. <laughs> All right, Target extra large. Picked it up based on style and size. I thought was adorable. Next item is a unique glow, extra large, red waffle knit short sleeve top. I don't think I've ever seen a short sleeve waffle knit before. So, yeah. Unique glow is a like fast fashion type brand, so I probably will not be getting a ton for it. All right, and then I meant to look this brand up. So I don't know what this brand is. Jack and Avery, but it's an extra large. I got it because it kind of gives me mod cloth vibes. I like the lightweight blouse material with the mix knit. So we'll see how well that does because, yeah, I don't know anything about that brand. All right, we have new tag kids Adidas shirt. It's so hard to leave these items behind. But yeah, it only retailed for $25, so I probably will only get like $10 to $13 for it. All right, Victoria Beckham, Target. Nice, cute little shift dress. Oh my goodness, this is so adorable. I love it so much. Um, it's an extra large. But there are a few little buttons missing in the back, but it really does not affect how it's worn. And yeah, I think I could, you could honestly get away without buttoning them all. Yeah, it's such a cute little dress with the, the floral print and the scallop hems. So really excited to get that listed. More new tag items. This is Cabby. It's a cute maroon colored skirt. This would be absolutely adorable for fall with some black tights. This is size 10. And this retails for $89. Goodwill wanted $9.99 for it. But, and it also has little pockets. So really excited about that. I do love selling that brand. Alright, got some Fashion Nova. New attacks, extra small. This is Meet My Favorite Spot Legging Set. I did not find the pants to it, but I did find some other new attack Fashion Nova stuff. I think I will just lot them all together and sell them as a bundle. I mean, I probably will only get like not even ten dollars for this, so I will just a lot of money together. We have Land's End extra large, nice purple pink jacket. I think I want to see if my mother in law wants this. Um, this is like a nice rain jacket, and we can tuck away the, the hood. Got some really cute, well actually my, my best friend found these and she threw them back, um, but I'm gonna sell them. Ophelia, excuse me, Ophelia Row, size large, craft pants, I love cheetah print. <laughs> they have an elastic waist, lightweight, Goodwill wanted $7 for these. I found, well she found one and then another pair, which I think I'm just gonna end up lotting these together. They're both size large, both adorable prints. So, yeah, excited about that. More new a tag. These are just old maybe pixie, size 14, cropped pants, high rise, never fade. Some people love old navy. I personally really enjoy their dresses. They make some really nice dresses. 
Okay, more old navy. I actually got these from Lululemon when I found them. It's, I can't remember the name, what they reminded me of, but I picked these up because they are super lightweight, pull on, medium, um, yeah. So, active wear. These would be perfect for like, hiking on a more colder day. What is this? Oh yeah. J. Jill pull on gray pants. Boot cut. Size large. I love finding J. Jill in larger sizes. And then my friend didn't want these either. These are plus size. I think she said they were she and yeah. 3XL. Um, denim overalls with some distressing and free hems. Uh, yeah, hoping to get $15 for these. And then some torrid shorts. These are size 20. Super stretchy. Like a taupey brown color. Some pink Victoria's Secret. Collegiate. This is the Hoosiers. Just Indiana stuff. I don't know what, why they're called that, but yeah, I know it's Indiana. Another fun find. This is um, True Religion graphic t shirt. This is like really cool. Has exposed seams with like different stitching. Um, a nice graphic of a eagle yeah super cool uh this is a size one 100 cotton yeah i don't know what that size is and i found j crew i picked this up because it's an extra large uh, pink button up pink purple pink, uh, plaid micro plaid and I'm not sure if this is men's or women's. I have not looked it up yet. I found another really cool cropped graphic. Aloha. Hawaiian Island. This clearly somebody has cut this. But uh, yeah, I'm going to sell it because I think it's really cool. Found Ralph Lauren golfing shirt. The men's extra large lightweight navy blue not extra large just a large but it does have this on the side but i found that people still will buy it <laughs> even if there's writing on the sides guys tend not to care so much about that type of thing all right this was a whoops <laughs> probably should have thrown this back but it is new with tags it's a large, size large impressions, which if you watched my last bins haul, I found a pair of shorts, size large. So I think I'm just going to throw this in there with it. It has like really random shoulder pads in it for some reason. So I think I will just throw that in there with whoever buys the shorts. I'll just throw that in there. Oh yeah. So I've never found Kasik's sleepwear. I didn't even know they had a sleepwear. This is a size 18 to 20. Really pretty pink, purple, dusty, dusty pink, purple, satin, um, camisole. So yeah, I'm really excited to see how well that does. I really enjoy selling their bra, their bras. Ralph Lauren Extra Large. This looks like it runs kind of small, but pink and stripe. Pink with white stripes. And not the band. <laughs> um, another Shein. This has like green corduroy, a patch of flannel here in a pocket. Some gold buttons, size large. Nothing fancy, but it's trendy, so I wanted to sell it and it's lightweight. Alright, this is huge. I found 
J. Ferrar. Big and tall. New tags. Laser. <laughs> this is really big. It's a 58 long. Wowzes. I don't know how well this brand does. But I know big and tall stuff sell pretty well. From my experience. It all right, now on to the next basket. I'm currently cleaning these. I cleaned them already, but I don't know, it has like a weird stain. I don't know, I have to redo it. I found some Ugg Bailey boots, and these are authentic, I did check them. These are size seven, nice little gray color, and the Bailey boot you can fold down, or you can fold it up, it has a chunky button. All right, this next item I'm keeping for myself. I'm also stain treating it. The stain is almost out. I'm so excited. So Levi's crew neck sweater. It is a men's size large. So if I eventually sell it, I will, because I get really bored of my clothes pretty quickly. So yeah. Uh, this is another item I'm stain treating. It's Athleta, size large, nice lightweight. Tank top. I loved the the seafoam blue. Um, I can't see it, but you could probably see this on the camera. Hey, I found some Prana jeans. These are a 14. I just washed these because these were pretty dirty. So these are ready to be listed. So just washed these. I don't know anything about this brand. Bought it based on style. I love this two-tone denim look. Got the light wash and dark wash straight leg pants. These are blue savvy. Fortunately, oh, do they have a size? Oh yes. They're size 9 or 29. So, oh, and they're a button fly. Adidas um short sleeve top. This uh kind of got like blue stain on it i don't know i washed it so i don't know if some of the blue leaked off from the denim or what but it's a size small short sleeve top so i just noticed that so hopefully that doesn't affect how i sell it Okay, we have Victoria's Secret, which I don't know if I'm going to sell this because it had some pit stains. Incredible by Victoria's Secret, right here you can, so either I'll sell it super low or just donate it. Hollister Floral Graphic Crop Top. Um, has a slight pink mark there. This is a size medium button front. I woke up with a headache this morning, so I'm still kind of trying to get with the program. On more Torrid. These are leggings. Nice floral embroidered leggings. Size one. This is another item I'm currently stain treating. These are Levi's 511 men's shorts, distressed. Um, they have like a bunch of pink marks all over, and it's just on the back. So I'm still trying to figure out how to get those clean. I forgot to look this up, but I got it because it's wool acrylic. Minia Uomo. I like the color. It's a nice little minimalist type sweater. So yeah, we'll see if I list this. We'll see if I list that. Oh yeah, another item I'm stain treating. This is Foot Joy Golf Polo. I don't know if you can see it, but there are a few little marks. This is a size small. Really? does not look like a small. Looks like an extra lard. Um, yeah. They're pretty faint, but yeah. This is a popular men's 
golf brand, so I wanted to try to get it out. All right, some shoes. Sockney. These are in very, very good condition. Nice little running shoe. These are a size eight and a half men's. That's a really cool bag. Oh, probably won't get a ton for it, but I think this is so cool. Such a unique bag. Route 66, which I thought maybe like a biker or some traveler would really like this. Um, yeah. It has Velcro closure. You can also zip it. Um, it's pretty clean on the inside. And what I like about it is that it can stand without flopping over. My favorite part is this zipper. Here's some shoes. These are just Target slides, which I meant to uh, see if my best friend wanted these. They're size eight. I, yeah, nothing fancy, but they looked like in, they looked brand new to me, so. Then I found some really nice boots this time. These are Lauren Ralph Lauren, size 11. 11B, which I don't remember what that is. <laughs> Black leather boots. These are in very, very good condition. Hardly worn. Nice little buckle detail. Just need to wipe a few little marks off because, you know, they were tossed around in a bin. Um, and then these next ones, I think my mother in law is going to keep. These are a nice pair of riding boots. These are also UGG, and they are her size. There are There is some wear, but nice broken in riding boots for her. She has a horse named Josie. Here's the other one. I really like the buckle detailing on this one. I think it's really cool. All right, let's get into more accessories. This is a silk Ralph Lauren, not a Exactly sure what this is. Let's pull over up Lauren. Is this just like an what are they called? A ascot? Ascot? I don't know. Some the guy on Scooby Doo wears them, right? Is this how you wear it? I don't know. I got it because it's silk and light paint. Okay, we got another silk tie from Ralph Lauren. Fun little colors. Kind of reminds me of a preppy school <laughs> school look. Preppy school look. So, yeah, let's see how well that does. I meant to actually give this to my best friend because she found a Ralph Lauren blazer. Alright, we found some bras. I love selling bras. This is Victoria's Secret. I'm going to lock these two together because they are the same size. These are 38D Dream Angels push-up. This is pink and nude. Pink and like a light gray. I don't know. Color. This one is a nude in pink, right? Am I seeing that right? Both same size, both same style, so I'll lock those together. Uh, out from under, Urban Outfitters crop top. This is a very unique top. Very weird. Extra small, so it's definitely oversized. There were a few little holes, but I think that just goes with the style of this shirt. Um, I did already list this so yeah super lightweight some new tag jeans this is just a and a which i sold at jc penny i thought it was cold but it's jc penny so and they are size 18 mid-rise skinny it's so hard to not pick up new tag items or to leave them behind. Another Urban Outfitters extra small waffle knit top with the butt in front and it also ties in the front. Some men's American Eagle plaid shorts, which I'm just noticing some stains. <laughs> uh, these are a long board, size 31, so I got two. I'll probably just donate those. American Eagle denim mini skirt. This has a button fly, size four. This is excellent condition. Nowhere at all. 
some more new tag shorts. These are just Charter Club, which is sold at Macy's. These are a size 16. They're belted. Nice little khaki color. And here we have Calvin Klein crop top, which I think is new without tags because it still has this. This is a size extra small. Another crop top. This is just Forever 21, but it's just so cute. I had to get it. It's a size small, short sleeve v neck. I don't think I've had much luck selling this brand, but I wanted to try it again. It's just Lowell Sports Bra. Pretty blue. I think it was a size small. Pretty sure it was a small. Athleta tank top, extra large, red. Has the shelf bra and a keyhole or a cutout back. And I don't remember the name of this style. Okay, we have some more bras. This is Cacique, which is Lane Bryant's brand. And it's new tags. This is the plunge cleavage solution. Oh, uh, size. 40C and it retailed for $44. Look how sexy this is. That cute bow in the front. Which was my size. <laughs> um, another new brand of bras for me. H by Halston, size 38D. It's like a gray purple. One more bra. This is Victoria's Secret. Low cut demi size 38 double D. Another sexy bra. Look at this. Oof. Love it. I love the hot pink. And an accessory. <laughs> I hear this brand is kind of trendy, if I'm not mistaken. A uh, girl's pink hat. It's, it has sequins, all that fun stuff. I would not wear that, but. There are some people out there with that style. Alright, here's the other extra small Fashion Nova thing. This is so funny. Who wears these? I don't understand. Alright, my last item. Oh no. I have one more item to show you. This is a Meryl Skort. This is size 4. Nice olive green color, perfect for hiking. We're doing some kind of outdoor stuff. Alright, my last item. I found some Haka Hoka. I don't know how you smart pronounce it, but these are a size 10B. These were pretty dirty. I got them really clean. There's the bottoms. So yeah, I've sold this brand one other time and I sold them I sold a pair of shoes for 50 bucks. So, yeah, I'm hoping to get $50 for these, too. So, yes, that's everything. Wait, that is not everything. I have a couple more hoodies that I need to show you that I'm keeping. Hold on. All right, these hoodies I'm keeping for myself. If I get sick of them, I will sell them. But um, I just got rid of one of my Adidas hoodies that looked similar to this, but it got stained, and I could not get the stains out. So this one's going in my closet. And I love the camo sleeves. I used to hate camouflage, but I'm starting to like it now. And then this Uniqlo hoodie, which is totally my color. So that's everything that I found at the Goodwill outlet, or the bins, this time around. I'm really hoping to go a little more consistently because I've been finding some, some decent stuff at the Gary bins location. So I am going to end this video and get stuff listed. If you don't mind liking and subscribing to my channel, that would mean a lot to me, and I will see you on my next video. Bye!